For some reason, I thought I'd walk in there and they'd be grateful that they'd been saved and, and I'd look after them for a couple of days in a reception centre and they'd all go back off to their families and we'll be saying, thank you, you've rescued me. I was so stupid to think that. That didn't happen. In my experience, people have been really confused. They're not sure why they're there. They're not aware if they can leave. They're not aware if they're a victim or if they're in trouble. When you ask a survivor to enter the National Referral Mechanism, the framework through which people are formally identified by the UK government as having been trafficked, you're in effect asking people to make a leap into this period of limbo and uncertainty. There's no certainty of the outcomes, or even where you'll be, or what support you'll get. We only want assurance that they can really help us. Because I'm really, really traumatised. The trauma is still here. It's hard to remove fears. I will not sign documents which I don't even go through briefly with someone. I will not. Because signature means a lot. Signature can lead you to trouble. I'd never heard that word NRM before. So imagine, here's, here's a person and she started telling me about the NRM or something like that. And then she started talking to me bit by bit for me to understand. But, but it's not the right time. My, my mind was confused. <laughs>